Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions, and it is a second version of Jim Neidhart from Heart Foundation. Uh, loved him. Rest in peace, Jim. Um, very happy we're getting a second version. This is uh, this is Blue Pants debut, Jim. So, no pink quite yet. No pink white yet. Um, so ignore the modern era moniker. He is indeed a legend era uh, focus powerhouse at coachability is uh, keeping in line with the theme we're seeing throughout the month. Green finishers do 50% more damage at 26k. That is six star bronze does not include submission moves. Links they kept. All of these Gen 1 links. Um, Heart Family, any color submission moves last one more turn. I believe that is the link he gets with his daughter, Natalia. I don't remember which one it actually works. They both apply. Um, but I think that's the one that gets overwritten. Heart Foundation, matching green gems, charge moves of that color by two more move points. And uh, Jim the Anvil, Nine Heart, and the British Bulldog. Moves that generate black gems will create three more black gems. So while this version of, of Anvil doesn't generate black, uh, Showboat Davy Boy does. So I'll double check to see if that link works with them. Uh, Legends era gems do 10% more damage and just the one standard set of gear. So I know initial uh, glance, a lot of people looked at him and went, oh, blast gems. We got to do Titan plate. Um, Temper your expectations here, folks. No JBL, no Titan plate, no problem. That is the approach for this preview. I will do a run it back and stack ass loads of damage. That's a metric measurement, by the way. Um, but I'll, I'll definitely do a run it back with better metals and whatnot. We'll see what the, the full potential is. But for now, we're going to just do basic, somewhat simple see how he runs a uh, bunch of different builds we're going to run for him starting with something that's um actually available at two star not that you can probably get him at two star but it is a two star move set it is the finisher red two and green one so red one the finisher the anvil flattener 10 mp deal 232,997 damage choose two columns to destroy and pin the opponent uh, red 2, the back body drop 8 MP, deal 96,925 damage, and choose a 7x3 area to make into Blast Gems. And green 1, the slingshot shoulder block 7 MP, deal 77,077 damage, and choose 6 gems to make into Red Gems. Entourage for this, like I said, no JBL, no problem. We're going to use George the Animal Steel for th four more green MP. We're going to use Tech Rick Rude um, for 35% more damage to the Blast Gem. I mean, you could use Slick Rick and get 20% on all, or we can do um, a Blast Gem focus. So this is what a kind of free-to-play Blast Gem focus would look like. I realize people will be like, I don't know, Sammy. Uh, he was a chase, so that's why I'm comfortable using him. Uh, but Tech, Rick Rude for 35% more damage to our Blast Gems. Uh, Typhoon for 25% more damage to our Blast Gems and 15% more damage to our Reds. I am going to use Sammy for 50% more damage to the Blast Gems. However, an alternative, if you do not have Sammy, when in doubt, Santa Hogan. But you could also use... Where is he? Uh, Acro Ray for 25% more damage to your Blast Gems. So there is an option if you don't have Sammy. Uh, that is what I'm going to run. The belt, very straightforward. Um, we are doing Full Fury. We have a red percent for the finisher. We have a maxed out gem damage percentage metal. And I'm using a glowing Phantom Plate. And the reason being 
it's going to help us refill our green if he kicks out. Because we're going to make, you know, essentially the middle of the board blast gems. We're going to destroy a bunch of the board with the finisher. Um, hopefully we'll break enough greens and purples that we can refill this. It Aftershock is the inverse, so I don't feel the need to use it. I want something that'll give us the green MP. And um, that looks so good. His artwork is really good. Y'all did well. Um, let's see how he goes. Okay, so my tour perks are such that 7 MP moves are not turn 1. That's fine. I was hoping I wouldn't cascade that much, but alas, we're gonna pin him. Damn! Okay, uh, so let's do that. We'll drop that down for a match. That. I know, I'm like so unsure. Okay, here we go. Let's do that. Get some greens. Got some purples too, which is nice. Let everything reload. He left us a lot of pin bar. We could be sneaky sneaky with this. I'm gonna try sneaky sneaky. Probably gonna bite me in the ass. Yay! It didn't bite me in the ass. Okay, good. Uh, so I doubled up on this. Why? Because I can. And we'll put that there. And I want to show um, the power of Blast Gem Trainers. So we have 17k on our reds. If we go to a red Blast Gem, they're at damn near 30k. So definitely do a Blast build without JBL and a Titan Plate. Uh, finisher is up over 500k, and then we're going to blow up the entire board. So a nice um, a nice blend of move damage and gem damage here. Really, all you need to do is destroy the center column at this point. The board's going to go... Brah! There it goes. Like the Red Sea. 1.2. Not too shabby at all. Not too shabby at all. All right, moving along, let's take a peek at three star. Three star move is the forearm club, which is green two, six MP, deal 78,321 damage, and choose three gems to make into two turn juggernaut gems that will increase your red gem damage by 60% for two turns on every countdown turn and make eight random gems into multiply gems of strength five at the end of the countdown. Uh, we are gonna run this alongside uh, the choose gems to make red and the choose area to make blast, keeping with steel and typhoon. Bringing in Big John Stud for four more red gems gives us a little bit of flexibility. And uh, Santa Hogan for a flat 2200 to all of our gems, keeping the Fury Belt the same Keeping the phantom plate to blow up the board, break some purples, get some green MP. Uh, only real change here is a green percent move metal or a little more damage. Okay. Forearm club. Gonna put out some juggernaut gems and I want to try to keep them in the same row. want to try to keep them in row. Oh. And towards the bottom, just in case they cascade, I want to keep them on the board and keep up here intact. So boost our red gem damage. Now we're doing 54,000. Choose 10 to make into red gems. And this is where we need 
some cooperation. We're going to do a five match and a swipe for three. And then I'm going to just kind of scatter these around. No cascade is nice. And I'm going to hit this. Put it there. And then I'm going to swipe. We're not going to cascade, which is nice. And then we're going to get a bunch of random multiply gems surrounding the blast gems. And then I'm going to go like this. And we're going to pin him for two and a half mil. And that's how that works. <laughs> <laughs> like it ain't nothing so yeah make sure you lay out the blasts before the juggernaut gems spin out the multiplies because as you saw not a whole lot of overlap um, you'll keep your blasts and then you'll kind of surround them with multiply gems and then you can you know take a decent portion of the board and your red gem damage is boosted so yay let's go look at a four star build Four star build brings in both of the purple moves. Purple one being the Anvilizer, an 8 MP submission. Generate 32 random submission gems and do 154,393 damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into blast gems. And purple two, the four star move, is the Discus Clothesline, 8 MP. Deal 145,953 damage and increase your red MP by 9. That's beefy. Um, but if we want to win on turn 2 with this build, we have to go double MP trainer. Um, if you want to, I don't know, if you have tech Damien Priest for the finisher, maybe sacrifice Vince for him and win on t turn 3. Totally up to you. Uh, we're going to use Woods and Vince to give us 6 starting purple MP, 7 for our turn, 1 for the uh, tour perks, so the 8 will be ready to go on turn 1. Uh, keeping Typhoon, keeping Santa. We have switched back to the red percent. And we're bringing in a Twilight Ritual Plate. Whenever you break three or more red gems, make seven blue gems into purple at the end of your turn. Alternatively, you could go with an All Heart Plate because uh, green and purple are his second and third colors. So that's an option. Uh, but I'm going to see how the Twilight Plate works because you can get that off the uh, Skill Plate wall. I mean, technically you can get the Titan Plate off the Skill Plate wall too, but we already discussed it's not that kind of preview. You're going to have to stay tuned for that one. And uh, let's see how this one goes. So we're going to go ahead and put out our Blast Gems. If you want, you could use a Hall of Fame Lawler as a coach. It'll reduce your submission to one turn. And it would leave you a bunch of Blast Gems on the board. So that's an option. Okay, that, that worked out. If we break the center column, that'll go up there and break those and up there. And, okay, that's cool. Uh, discus clothesline, increase your red MP by 9, which is going to node the finisher. Just over 500k move damage, and we'll just... We don't need to break both, so... We'll just break the one. Get basically the entire board, and then the Twilight Ritual will spit out some more purples just in case we need it. And he kicked out, we recycled. Hit the sub again. If he doesn't pin you on his turn, this could give you an opportunity to double stack the All Heart Plate. Again, we don't have a plate for red and blue gems yet, but that would be um, a good one to use as well. Increase our red MP by 9. And go ahead and do it all again. Again, blast gems are in a nice spot, so we'll put it there for the sake of putting it there. There goes the board. Here come the purple gems. A little bit of a cascade. 
1.3 mil. And they are kept down. So we've seen a blow up the board fairly straightforward recycling. We've seen Juggernaut. We've seen um, Submission. Now let's take a look at what the five star move has to offer. Five star move is the Tree of Woe stomps 9 MP. Deal 121,223 damage plus 34,107 bonus damage for every blast gem. So we're going to use this a couple different ways. First is going to be triple red. We're going to go for a turn one big boom. Uh, so the finisher that destroys columns, the back body drop that makes uh, 21 blast gems. And then the tree of O stomps damage per. We're going to do double red MP for this just so we can be turn one. Uh, so Butch and Sting. And then bringing back Sammy for the 50% on the blast. Keep bringing in uh, Typhoon for 25%. Plus the 15% on the reds. And for the belts, the red percent. And then bringing in an aftershock plate. I realize I have not updated um, the picture on your screen. My bad. Let me do that real quick. Do, do, do. Uh. Okay. Uh, doing an aftershock plate to help us refill the red since we don't actually have a move that's going to generate them uh, so break three greens give us th three red mp hopefully there's enough red gems on the board as well and uh, let's see should be turn one and done hopefully fingers crossed so back body drop I'm gonna go up here actually because if we go down there we'll get one two red if i go here that one four five six seven and three greens so that's seven red plus three greens for the green mp smart tree of woe stomps toss him in the corner kick him in the gut but 1.25 million damage. And then the Anvil Flattener. Choose two columns to destroy. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. What we could do is go there and there to get 8, 9. Just in case something goes horribly, horribly wrong. But that should load everything up. And we got a 4 match and a 3 match in a Cascade on top of it. Works for me. Works for me. Alright, let's see what else we can do with this 5 star move. So next up, let's try a uh, green one, which is the choose red, along with the blasts and the damage per. Gonna use steel for MP, and then blast gem damage, uh, tech rick rude for 35, typhoon for 25, sammy for 50. The sammys go higher. Have I been... Have I been living in a conspiracy? No. Okay. Sorry, Merix. Your boy ain't it. Um, yeah. And full fury, red percent, and bringing back the glowing phantom to help us reload the greens. We can uh, turn two because my tour perks are not plus two yet. ahead and load up these and uh, I actually only really need to make a three match kind of nice not gonna lie uh, hmm. no what am I doing what am I doing I don't even need to do any of this let's just I know exactly what I'm doing. Exactly what I'm doing. There we go. Nah. 
Nice. 150. Or 1.5. I know numbers. Kind of want him to kick out. Oh, I only did half a mil? Please kick out. Thank you. Uh, so we're gonna go for a double stack here. Don't have the luxury of going for a five down there. I will, however, try that. Crap. Ah, boo! Oh, I totally- thank god. That was intentional. So that would be fun with the Titan Plate, because if you can double stack that damage, it'll be all sorts of nasty. But goodbye, Ivar. We hardly knew you. And the entire board just goes, bye! Thank you for the loot boxes! Boxes. All right, let's try something else. So next we're gonna try instead of using the green and making wild cards and hoping we don't cascade We're gonna go with the purple discus clothesline to load everything up um, Entourage again, we're gonna do the the double MP thing um, And then Typhoon and Sammy for the damage sticking with the fury uh, but we're gonna do the Twilight Witch Ritual again, which is, you know, break red, get, uh, get purple. Or gems on the board, rather. So, let's see. Oh, this one looks. Increase your red MP by 9. If you have max tour perks, you get the 3 MP. Um, so you don't need to use Vince. Maybe a line bonus and feud, you won't need to use Vince and you can go with like a gem damage. I go here, so one, two, five red blast gem. One, two, four, five, six. Hit our bonus damage, and then we'll take a swipe. Ooh, and nada! Alright. Board not in our favor that time, but shit happens. And go figure, he's all loaded and ready to go. And he cascaded. Thank you. Take out of that, no problem. Gain our MP, put out our blast, do our bonus damage, take a swipe. That should do it. Yeah. He done. Ring the bell! Oh sure, now it cascades. Excellent. Let's see what the six star move does. 
So being it is the evening before the character is released, we have the character, but the portal says uh, 404, page not found, brother. So I can't currently see how this scales up, but I can tell you, six star move is green. It does a little bit of damage and destroys some gems. Um, so in terms of like theory crafting a super secret six star build, say more things with the letter S in it, why don't you? Um, it's really, there's nothing that really stands out. You could put it with damn near any move. Um, you could use it instead of the finisher and just choose the blast gems to destroy instead of the columns. I don't know what the move damage is like. Maybe you could do a triple green, choose to make into red, increase your red gem damage, and then multiply gems, and then choose the multiply gems. Maybe you'll land one green, maybe you'll land one red. Aftershock plate. You could do, not aftershock plate. Glowing phantom plate. You could do something like that. You could do it with the sub. An all heart plate. Take off your blast gems. There's really a ton of options. And even with the builds that I showed, there's just so many different combinations. What, what, what did we do? One, two, three, four, five, six different builds. And there's probably shit that I missed. Probably shit that I missed. There's a lot to them. Thankfully, there's going to be another video. So if there is any shit that I missed, I'll just do it later. Ta-da! I'm not procrastinating. I'm being productive. Side eye. Uh, but anyways, that is the new Jim Neidhart Heart Foundation. Again, new batch of coaches. Uh, finishers do more damage. Neidhart is green. 50% um, at six-star bronze. Links, lots of them. Uh, any color submission moves last one more move turn with Natalia. Heart Foundation with Brett. Matching green gems charge moves of that color by two more move points. Might work with Old Anvil. We'll test out. Um, Jim the Anvil, Nine Heart, and British Bulldog moves that generate black gems will create three more black gems. You know what? Let's just go. Let's just go look real quick. Is there a tag match? That's not a tag match. Are you legends? No. But I can put you... No. No. Hold on. I planned this. Don't worry. Legend era? Modern era. Legends only? Legends only. Alright. Uh, links. Done it then. It's not with Showboat Bulldog? That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. That's the one that benefits. Hmm. Heart Family, Heart Foundation. And it's, it's one of those weird links where you don't know which one... Yeah, Natalia and Jim Neidhart featuring Uncle Brett. Yes, say. Where is Bulldog? I have him somewhere. Uh, class. <laughs> Give me a moment, folks. I'm doing it for the community. Uh, showboats. He's in here somewhere. There he is. Nada! He's even pointing at him! I will message somebody at Scopely and ask what the deal is. Because he got nothing. I realize it's SummerSlam 92. And this is... What is it? 84? Mid 80s. But if you're gonna let this Nightheart have links with the other two, you gotta add the other Bulldog, right? Right? You would think so? Is it just me? 
Maybe it's just me. Anyways, that concludes my preview on uh, Nightheart Heart Foundation. Let me know in the comments what you think. Questions, comments, concerns, builds you plan to run. Are you a Nightheart fan? Are you going to be chasing the feud points for him, possibly? I know that structure is a whole different conversation. Um, stay tuned for the run it back. This was the no JBL, no Titan plate, no problem video. I will have a uh, JBL Titan plate big problem video. So keep an eye out for that one. And thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Thank you for being a friend. Put it on me, and the put it on me.